This is a training video for the fume cupboards installed on levels 5 to 7 of the Hilmer Building at the University of New South Wales. These Waldner SecuFlow fume cupboards are similar to other fume cupboards you may have used in the past, but may also have unique features you are not familiar with, including automatic vertical sash operation, horizontal sash operation, operation panel and control system, emergency stop and power reset, and electrical and hydraulic outlets. We'll look at these five areas in more detail. Automatic vertical sash operation. To operate the main glass door of the fume cupboard, which is called the vertical sash opening, simply push the sash gently up or down. Then the sash motor will take over and drive to the fully open or closed position. The normal maximum opening height is 500 millimetres, which is the point at which the vertical sash will stop against the rubber stopper. This opening height can be increased to 900 millimetres temporarily for accessing or installing large equipment in the work area. To override the normal maximum opening height, squeeze the two grips in the centre of the sash handle and push the vertical sash gently all the way up. While the vertical sash is in this position, you will see a yellow warning LED at the operation panel to indicate this position is not a safe working opening and should be closed as soon as possible. The automatic vertical sash in this fume cupboard is designed to close to the minimum position when there is nobody using the fume cupboard. This feature saves a lot of energy as the airflow is reduced whenever the sash is in the closed position. The automatic vertical sash features a light barrier which prevents the sash closing on persons or equipment which may be in the path of the closing sash. When this light barrier is interrupted, the sash will reverse direction to avoid colliding with persons or equipment. Important. Do not force the sash up or down, as this could damage the fume cupboard. Horizontal sash operation. To operate the sliding glass doors of the fume cupboard, which is called the horizontal sash opening, Simply slide the glass doors left or right to access the work area. Important. Do not attempt to operate the horizontal sash and the vertical sash at the same time. If the vertical sash is open, plus any of the sliding glass doors are also open, you'll see a yellow warning LED at the operation panel. This indicates that this position is not a safe working opening and should be closed. Operation panel and control system. To the left of the fume cupboard work area is the operation panel. This panel includes buttons to select the operation mode and to mute audible alarms, and features various LED indicators which we'll explain in more detail. The up and down arrows are used to select the two operating modes of the fume cupboard. Automatic is the normal operating mode, which will vary the airflow according to the actual vertical and horizontal sash position. This is the most energy efficient mode and should be used whenever possible. The auto mode is shown by a rotating green LED. High is the increased airflow mode, which will operate at high airflow regardless of the vertical and horizontal sash position. This mode is useful for particularly toxic or smelly applications, but should be avoided for general applications. The high mode is shown by a fixed green LED. The sash button is the button immediately below the LED indicators. This can be used to operate the vertical sash in the following manner. A short press will command the vertical sash to travel to the maximum position. A long press will command the vertical sash to travel to the minimum position. The mute button is immediately below the sash button and is used to silence audible alarms. Important. Audible alarms indicate a safety issue and should be resolved before continuing work at the fume cupboard. The light button operates the light in the work area. Emergency stop and power reset. The large red button is used to stop power and flammable gas, if fitted, to the fume cupboard in an unsafe situation. This includes but is not limited to a fire, electrical fault or a chemical spill. Once the situation is resolved, the emergency stop button must be released by twisting before the power can be restored by pressing the power on button which is located immediately below. 
After pressing the power on button, the fume cupboard will start a one minute delay to ensure safe airflow before power and flammable gas services, if fitted, are restored. During this one minute startup period, a rotating yellow LED indicator will show at the operation panel. Electrical and hydraulic outlets. These fume cupboards are fitted with power outlets plus hydraulic services, which can include lab gases, compressed air, vacuum, cold water, and equipment cooling water. All power outlets are fitted to the front face of the fume cupboard. As with all normal power outlets in the lab, these power outlets are live with 240 volt electricity, so normal safety steps should be taken, such as keeping liquid away from power outlets and checking the condition of all plugs, cables and equipment which is in use. All hydraulic services are operated from the valves fitted to the face of the fume cupboards and outlets located inside the work area. These valves and outlets are colour-coded to assist in matching the valve to the correct outlet. These fume cupboards are designed with your safety in mind, so remember these main tips. A green LED is normal and means everything is safe. A yellow LED is a warning or a temporary state. A red LED is an alarm and the fume cupboard is not safe to use. If this persists, please report this to your supervisor immediately. Thank you for watching.